What's up action figure fans and collectors? So I've been itching to get back into toy reviews since these days I'm mostly a MIB collector, mint in box collector. And um, I picked up some action figures recently that I thought would be fun to open up and do reviews on. And um, I'm gonna start off by reviewing the uh, Raw 10 Battlesnake figure from McFarland Toys. And I am no stranger to McFarlane Toys. I've been a fan of his Spawn figures and comics when I was a kid. And over the years, he made other types of figures based off like horror movies. He made sports figures based off famous athletes. And currently, he is now doing the DC Multiverse line as well as the Mortal Kombat 11 figures. And um, he's doing these Raw 10 figures that are mostly made for children uh, about around the age of six and up. But for adult collectors like me, uh, I kind of find these cool because of the detail that uh, they put into these Raw 10 figures. And um, I also picked up Saigor. Do not pick up Frenzy or Raptor. I decided to only pick up these two for now, Battlesnake and Saigor. All right, so finally got this thing out of the box. And on the back, it says, Battlesnake protects his jungle lair from the dangerous claws of Raptor. Battlesnake squeezed the Robo Dinosaur and prepare to unleash his hypno gaze before Raptor can strike. There we go, cool image there. So I'm not sure if McFarlane himself uh, did the artwork, but they look pretty cool. Okay. And if I open it up, it turns out to be a cool looking poster. So I have to zoom out a little bit. There you see Battlesnake fighting Raptor or Raptor. That's really cool. I don't know if this is something I would frame, but uh, I, I do appreciate the, um, the art design. All right, so now let's get to the Battlesnake figure from the Raw 10 line made by McFarlane Toys. Check out that awesome bladed tail. Look at this. I mean, these are made for kids. I mean, this figure alone was $10. Uh, Saigor, which is a much bigger figure, he's bigger than a Build-A-Figure, and he only cost $20. Um, so that's a good deal, in my opinion. But look at this. I mean, he made these Raw 10 figures specifically for kids. And yet, they put in such a great amount of uh, sculpting work into these figures that um, it's making adult collectors like myself, uh, you know, want to take a look at these. There's the uh, back pattern of the cobra snake. Looks pretty cool. There's the uh, front design there. It's most, mostly in a uh, pinkish. Uh, I'm not sure if that's pink, but it looks pink to me. It's, uh, pinkish or maybe like faded red color. And on the front, it has a nice silver coloring to it. Alright, let's take a look at his eyes and his mouth there with the tongue. Nicely painted green eyes on both sides. Uh, now the mouth does kind of close about that far and you can open it up. And the tongue, you can actually push that in so it actually goes in a little bit, see that? And you can actually Pull on it to extend it out, which I think is a nice touch. And I'm sure many G.I. Joe fans out there are probably going to pick up maybe one or two of this guy to uh, make a customized throne room for Krober Commander. I'm pretty sure they already have a few uh, plans worked out. And to give you guys an idea of the height, he's around uh, six and a half inches to seven inches tall uh, because this Batman figure is six inches. And if I put him in front of Battlesnake, you can see Battlesnake stands a little above his head. And this Godzilla figure stands around 12 inches tall. But uh, just to be sure, let me get my measuring tape. And Battlesnake is 
yeah, between six and seven, about six and a half. So yeah, he's about six and a half inches tall. Um, lengthwise, standing like this. Um, I'm not sure how. <laughs> I'm not sure about his length if you extend him out because because you can't really extend his body out because there's no bendy wire in there. It's just all like soft plastic or really uh, strong, durable plastic, but also soft. And so that concludes my review for the Raw 10 Battlesnake figure from McFarlane Toys. Uh, pretty neat design, I must say. Um, if you're a kid or if you're a parent looking to buy like cool looking animal figures for your kid, uh, you might want to look into these because I think the sculpt is awesome. Uh, for adult collectors, you guys might be in it this line for the sculpt alone. Um, because the designs look really great to display next to other figures on your shelf. Or if you want to do some customization work, you can do that also and maybe prop them up next to Cobra Commander that I showed earlier. Um, but yeah, as an adult collector and as no stranger to McFarlane Toys for, for as many, many years of his uh, toy products that he put out in stores, I'm actually cool with collecting this figure and displaying them on my shelf next to other figures. Um, and I don't know if I'm all in for this line. Like I said, I only picked up Battlesnake and Saigor, so those are the only two I will be reviewing for now until I see what they have planned for the next wave, and then I might be interested in cherry-picking a few others. Anyways, <laughs> um, this is Omega Primus, and uh, look out for the next review because I will be reviewing Saigor next. All right, thanks for watching. See you later.